Why IQ people are made, not born? Question mark? Anyway, I believe this is the truth. IQ is made, not born with. And one of the prime examples is the Laszlo Polger experiment. I can't find another reason for the wide differences in IQ between people, besides malnutrition, besides malnutrition and poisoning that will alter how the brain develops. It seems that a high IQ is directly related on how much training a person went through. My question is, is it possible to do the same thing with adults, make them go through certain processes that will eventually make them high IQ individuals or even geniuses? Why or why not? Think of IQ as how much liquid you can hold. Nature determines the size of your bucket and nurture determines how much the bucket is filled slash emptied. Some people are born with lesser cognitive capacity than others, and that's just a fact. There's no, there's no combating that. Some people take longer to learn concepts than others. Some people struggle with specific elements of intelligence, learning dis disabilities. Some people receive more training, enrichment, and growth opportunities. Some people face more stress and trauma. All these factors impact IQ. Couldn't have said it better myself. And the analogy of the liquids in the bucket, wonderful analogy. I never thought about that before. Great comment. To take it a bit further, it is correct to then state that because nature genetics determine the size, potential cognitive capacity of the bucket, that the nature factors, health, stress, etc., basically only determines how much full or how full the bucket can become with the latter part not being knowledge, but rather IQ score. Modern methods of genetic analysis are revealing significant genetic contributions to variation in educational attainment. Some of these genes are directly related to cognition, and others are related to other phenotypes which increase the likelihood of succeeding in school. I believe there was a study that found a correlation of IQ and neuron dendrite length. Certainly not the only variable, but if I remember, it was a pretty substantial genetic variable. Completely genes. There's there's only a certain amount that you can increase your IQ from what it is currently. Obviously, you can gain knowledge. You will always be able to gain knowledge, but knowledge does not translate to you having a higher IQ unless it's a significant amount of knowledge gain. Unless you are studying IQ techniques and um, different concepts and ideas every single day for the rest of your life, then it will significantly increase your IQ if you were to take an IQ test because that's how it's tested. But for the vast majority of people, that's not the case. You know, I can, I think I can say for, for every human being on earth, that hasn't been the case. So IQ is very, very much genetic. It is very much what you're born with. Um, not so much the things that you do to try to alter, improve, or change that. That is all. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. Chris?